What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another massive tech unboxing. This time we're calling it 17.5. Now I know you guys always say, why do you have the .0 at the end? Reasons like this guys, uh, we got a ton of packages here, but all of them are from either the UPS store or my PO box or Microsoft sent it over. So I feel like there wasn't going to be a ton of variety here and we just recently did a massive tech unboxing. So 0.5 I felt was like a good name for this one, but you guys know what you got to do. You got to grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and let's enjoy unboxing some cool tech. Now Ari has made it an amazing habit of not being here whenever we're doing a massive tech unboxing. So you guys, you guys know what you got to do. I'm going to have her social media links down below in the description and you got to go get her, get her for the next one. 18. She's got to be here guys. But Jay, my man, I'm gonna let you pick the first one. This guy, what is this guy? This is from, I, I don't know. All right. What's in the first box? Oh, is this, is this Aries? I think this is Aries guys. This is going to be pretty, pretty disappointing. So we got some, uh, LaCroix salsa water. Ari, somehow you managed to troll me right back and you weren't even here. Thank you. This is Ari Seltzer Water. I hate seltzer water. All right, so I'm gonna pick the next one since these guys have set me up here. So this is from Kiwi Design and it's a battery base for the Google Home Mini. Silicone magnetic wall mount for Google Home Mini. We got two of those. This is actually pretty interesting. Let's see if this, what this base looks like. So if you have a Google Home Mini, you kind of just throw it inside of here. It's not a bad little uh, base there if you have like the gray one. And then I guess this is, oh, this is the magnet. And then you can put in the actual power adapter, plug it into the wall, and it's looking like this. But this is the battery base. Now I want to see what the battery base looks like. I wonder how long this battery base actually lasts. Does it say on the box? No. But a battery base that lasts a long time could be cool because you could take it around with you in your home. If you're maybe listening to music or something, that could be pretty useful. So a 7,800 milliamp hour battery. So I would just plug it in here and I guess set it down like this. And here you have it. This is your battery base for the Google Home Mini from Kiwi Design. Not bad, I like the look, it looks really good. All right guys, so over here, we got a little something from Microsoft. Oh, ho yes, oh baby. So right here, guys, we have the white Xbox Elite controller. I have not seen this in person yet. This is exciting. Dang, yo, it looks. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Oh, they switched up the case too. So before it was like a black case. Now it's gray. Oh, man, that is clean. I'm telling you, man. They know how to make some hardware. This looks so good, guys. Check this out. So this is the Elite controller, guys. And you could, of course, swap out the joysticks, the D-pad for all of the pieces that are inside here. So you have a bunch of options. That's what the Elite controller is all about, configuring the controller to work best for you. So this is really, really good looking. The white one, man, this is, this is clean. So thank you, Microsoft. Now, I don't know if you guys caught the last Massive Tech unboxing, but Microsoft sent over one of their Forza packages with this. I think the one they sent over was spring. I think I missed summer and I unboxed fall on Instagram live. I feel like they've been trolling me. So let's take a look at what summer had to offer. No, this isn't. No, Microsoft, you didn't send me sand, did you? Like you didn't try to bring the beach to the crib, did you, Microsoft? Please, this is sand. I can, I can see it, guys. This is, okay. So Microsoft is definitely bringing the seasons to us. So we have our beach towel here. Welcome to the Horizon Festival with the UK flag. UK, I get it now, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm not opening this. There is no way I'm opening sand in the studio. But thank you, Xbox. I appreciate it. Another one from the P.O. Box. Okay, so it looks like we have some cases for the iPhone 10. Looks like a leather case from Notice. Not bad looking. Kind of reminds me of the Apple case, but a bit more texture here. And they've got one. This is like, I guess, the folio case. So, cool. 
Now we got a little something else from Microsoft. Let's open this guy up. Oh, I'm excited for this. So what we got right here, guys, Microsoft Surface Laptop 2. So this is the matte black version. And to let you guys know what specs we're working with, we got an i5 processor here, 256 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM. So uh, this is something I really want to open up. Oh man. Now I've seen this already, but it's nice to have it in house. Dang, this thing is so clean. And look, I dress for the occasion. All black, baby. You guys can definitely expect to see a video on this. This is something I want to test out and put through its paces. This is a very nice, clean looking laptop, man. And the first one, the typing experience was just amazing. The keyboard had a really nice feel to it. So I'm very interested in trying this out. All right, what do we have here? We've got two boxes from the same company, it looks like. This one says, wait, this one says Judner Aura. That's me. But this one says Lamar Wilson. How do you get that confused? <laughs> How did they send me a... <laughs> but Lamar. I got your package, man. They sent it to me. Hit me up. So this is an accessory company. Oh, so this is a case for the Nintendo Switch. I guess you can prop up your Switch like this. The ultimate charge station for the Switch. Okay, so this is a charge station for the Switch. Oh, okay, I guess you put your Joy-Cons in the back and in your Switch up front. Cause it has a USB-C port up front and a USB-C port on the side to charge. And I guess you turn this on and off. Ah. Okay, so we've got some green lights here. Okay, and we got Joy-Con controller grips. Interesting. So you can put your Joy-Cons inside of here and kind of hold them like normal controllers. All right, and it comes with two of them. So I guess if you play a multiplayer game, you can play with the person you're gonna play with and you have two controllers. Now we've got some bigger boxes over here. Okay, so we've got some cases for the iPhone 10. Actually has a nice grippy feel to it. And you can put like your cards or whatever you want inside of here as well, so that's nice. So we've got a couple of cases, um, some tempered glass screen protectors, stylus pen, uh, the little ring stand, it's like a pop socket, and a charger for your car. And the last box from them, an essential pack for Nintendo Switch. And this thing has grip case for the whole Switch, so you can put the entire Switch inside of here. Feels pretty comfortable if you want some extra little grips to hold on to. And something else, what's in here? So another little stylus pen, USB-C cable, earbuds, and I guess a game case. So Orsley, thanks for sending these out. Lamar, you'll get yours soon. Okay, so this one's calling my attention. It says, open me first. This guy is the winter box for uh, the Horizon and Forza collection. What is this? Is this a, is this a winter coat? <laughs> Yo, these guys set a winter coat. What? We got the little fur in the back. No, this is actually, Kind of nice though. What? This thing is lined right and everything. Nah, this will keep you warm. I'm about to start sweating in here. So I got my official Forza Horizon winter coat. Xbox logo right there. Oh man. I'm hot already, y'all. All right, though, we got the next box over here. I'm gonna take this off before I start sweating up a storm. All right, so this is the box I need to be worried about. That was good. That was okay. Now this one. Winter changes ever. They sent me snow, guys. So it's in a cooler. It's a giant Xbox cooler. Never had one of those. Oh my gosh, I see it falling out already. Please don't make a mess, please don't make a mess. I'm gonna have to dig, dig through this. Why, Xbox? Why you do this to me? Soil, sand, snow, leaves. Oh, I didn't love these guys so much. Well, it actually looks like snow, so that's cool. I have yet to get the game. You guys know this? I still don't have the game. Okay. So we got a little uh, drink mixer, you know, to keep the body warm when you out there in the cold. Make a little cocktail, why not? Forza Horizon 4, folks. Check it out. So this one is from the P.O. Box. Nice. Okay, so this, guys, this is actually really special. So this is gray. This is actually a bumper, a very premium bumper for the iPhone XS. Uh, so if you want to have a really nice, cool look on your iPhone, but you don't want to cover it up 
with a huge case. You can definitely take a look at these. Definitely very, very premium stuff right here. Very expensive, uh, but it is cool and it feels really, really nice. This is like solid. Like I said, guys, this is like high-end stuff right here. So here we have something from Quiver. Oh, a backpack with my name on it. Okay. This is Judner Aura right here. It's a tiny backpack. But I guess this is why they call it quiver. Cause I don't know if you guys know with bows and arrows, the quiver is usually what holds the arrows and it's like a small bag that the arrows go into. So I guess that's what they're going for here. This is a travel backpack or sling, I guess. Cause it's not really a normal backpack. You got the strap right here. But this is cool. Quality feels nice. Materials feel good, uh, looks good. Not bad. What's this? Is this from? Oh, we got more stuff from Xbox. Hold up. Right here, got a dope hoodie from Xbox. And we got some t-shirts over here too. Oh, this is actually a long sleeve shirt. And we got another shirt over here. Oh, this one matches their controller. This one's actually really cool. So this one matches the controller. So Xbox has some, you know, some gear, some apparel. Looks pretty good. It feels like decent quality. I'll wear this with my winter coat. Be all good to go for the winter. Oh, I was not expecting this. Nice, so this is the HyperX Cloud Mix. Let's unbox this real quick, take a look at it. Now, I personally am a fan of HyperX uh, gear because they have some pretty good quality without breaking the bank. They don't really stray too far from their typical design language. Oh, but these ear cups though, that's real comfy. Of course, you also got your mic so that you can plug this up and you got a couple of cables inside of here as well and a travel pouch. But yeah, I wonder how these stack up to their other wireless version, uh, but I'm excited. Nice, I didn't know this was coming. Last but not least, yo, I didn't drop anything today. I deserve a pat on the back. So this is from Sateshi. Interesting, a Bluetooth keyboard for the Mac. Okay, so it's a USB-C charging port, can connect up to three devices. So actually it looks pretty good. The box doesn't do it any justice. I like the way the keys are indented a little bit. So you got a nice little indent when typing. Should feel pretty comfortable, but cool. And the fact that it takes USB type C to charge, that's always a nice thing. But yeah, guys, I think this is it. This has been our haul. But yeah, guys, the reason we have a Mass Attack unboxing 17.5 is because, you know, we got a lot of Microsoft stuff here and a bunch of clearly random stuff from the P.O. Box. So I didn't want to give it the full blown 18, uh, but I think we got a lot of cool stuff though. Microsoft hooked us up. Like I am really, really excited about this Elite controller right here. This thing is nice. And we got some other cool things as well. But either way, I'm rambling guys. Let me know what your favorite piece of tech here was. Uh, thanks to all the companies who sent something out and still be on the lookout for 18.0. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then it's your average consumer and peace. That's a lot to get out. Bye, bye.